All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video after rookie minicamp. And, of course, check out Pig and Pickle. Two locations there in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week in Marin County from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Wednesday through Sunday in Emeryville. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Well, great article I thought today in Niners Nation by uh, NinersNation.com by Patrick Holloway about how the battle of a quarterback this summer for the 49ers is going to be fa uh, fascinating to watch. And really, you know, if you think about it, it's I can't even think of a of a situation like this anytime recently, that's for sure, where you've had a team that has been in the NFC Championship game and is one of the most stacked rosters in all of pro football and a definite Super Bowl contender, except they have this big a question at the quarterback spot. Who is going to quarterback the 49ers is arguably one of the biggest subplots in the entire NFL, uh, regardless of team. This is an absolutely huge story, and it's a, it was a great article by, by Patrick talking about how it's going to be fascinating that you know, you've got Brock Purdy, you've got Trey Lance, you've got Sam Darnold, um, and it's on this summer. And, you know, you, Kyle Shanahan dropped a hint at the Dwight Clark Legacy Series event this week saying as long as there's not a setback, we think Brock Purdy will be there in training camp. So that's the only indication that we've gotten at all. We're still waiting on Purdy to be able to throw post-surgery, and then we're going to find out where he's at. But it really is fascinating when you think about it. I mean, the 49ers have three quarterbacks who are all in their physical prime and they think they can win with all three. And after the way last year ended, um, it's good to know that they have three quarterbacks. They feel like they can win with uh, Sam Darnold, Trey Lance and Brock Purdy will, I think are all going to get along. Um, but it is interesting. All three of these guys, you could make a really strong argument are in a must win situation. I don't think he, any of those three guys is looking at this like, well, hopefully I'll get the gig. No, I think they're all super passionate about winning that number one job. Let's talk about it. Purdy's 23. He's got the job right now. And he's already was a very productive college quarterback at Iowa State who's got a huge chip on his shoulder for being passed over in the draft. Now, finally, he gets his opportunity and he's kicking butt and winning games and winning playoff games and and do you think he wants to take a back back seat and now start backing up? No way. He's absolutely, you know, he in his mind, he's the number one quarterback. And um, and that's the way it's going to go. Then you've got Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold was the third pick in the draft, but it was the 2018 draft. That was five years ago. But he's now 25 years old, and I'm sure he's convinced himself, and the people that love Sam Darnold are convinced that Sam was not, not good, but it wasn't Sam, it was the Jets. Sam wasn't that great, but it wasn't Sam, it was the Panthers. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't that Sam wasn't good, it's that Sam has never been surrounded with enough. Well, life calls your bluff sometimes. So now he's here in San Francisco with a great play caller and an unbelievable cast around him. Um, so the excuses are gone. If Sam Darnold can't play here, Sam Darnold can't play. And so I think there's going to be incredible urgency to Darnold because he's trying to show the NFL world, hey, man, I got a career. I was thought to be some superstar coming out of high school in San Clemente, and I'm 25, and, man, it, it, it can't be over. You know, there's I got another chapter to my story here. So Darnold is, is hell-bent to prove that he's an NFL guy and that he's an NFL starter. Uh, and he's trying to salvage his entire career. And I'm sure, you know, I'm not saying that he doesn't take ownership of, of his struggles. He probably does. But I got to think that some part of him thinks, man, I'm better than that. The Jets had no line. I'm better than that. The Jets had no receivers. I didn't have a good enough cast around me. I, 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 I don't know that he's ever said that, but I wouldn't doubt that he's thinking it. So if you're Sam Darnold, you're 25. You were a third pick in the draft, but that was five years ago. If you're going to make it happen, it's right here, right now. And if it doesn't happen right here, right now, you're probably out of the league onto your next line of work. I don't know if you're going to be an agent or a coach, a broadcaster, or just some, some uh, you know, who knows. 
But if it doesn't happen here, it's not going to happen. So you got Brock Purdy with a huge chip on his shoulder saying, it's my job. You got Sam Darnold out there going, you know what? I'm going to put every ounce of everything I got into this because he knows this is Sam's last best opportunity to save his career. So he's super urgent. And then let's get to Trey Lance. Trey Lance is 23, and he was the third pick in the draft two years ago. And he thought he was going to be the face of the franchise, and we all did as well. And somewhere along the line, that came, that fell off course. But Trey's sitting there going, hey, you know what? I'm healthy now, and I'm here, and I'm going to play the best football of my life. And you heard Shanahan at that Dwight Clark event basically say that he thinks Trey's at the best spot he's ever been at. Um, he says if you watch his feet and his timing and how he's throwing the ball, he's in such a better place than he was last year at this time. I know he's coming off a big injury, um, but it's because he was healthier this year, even though last year was a little injury and a hairline fracture on the pinky, but it healed the wrong way. This year was a bad break with the ankle, but it healed the right way. And like most of them do, he just sees Trey in a much better place. He says, we'll present him some football and stuff when we get to OTAs and allow nine, nine of them. I think he meant nine on nine. Um, we'll see. We're going to see. We're going to see what Trey Lance has. Uh, but he's, you know, he's looking the best he's ever looked. So, I mean, you're talking about three guys. Trey Lance, I'm sure, is, is uh, intent on taking that starting job and Darnold's intent on saving his career and Purdy's intent on keeping the starting job and showing everybody that he was passed over incorrectly in the draft. So it's on. And this is, this is not only is it on, it's on between Trey and Sam right away. Then it's on between whoever the winner is and, and Brock. It's probably going to be one of the biggest subplots to the upcoming NFL season. Um, I think competition's a good thing. I really do. I think competition is a good thing. Um, you know, Joe Montana made Steve Young a better quarterback. If you talk to Steve Young, he'll say that Joe there looking over his shoulder made him a better quarterback. He didn't like it, but it made him a better quarterback. So I think the presence of Darnold and Lance and Purdy and how hard they all want to compete to be that number one quarterback is going to be a great situation for the 49ers. They're going to win. How many times do you get through a football season with just one quarterback? The athletes are too fast on defense. There's too many athletes. They're flying around. Um, you know, it's almost in inevitable that your quarterback's going to take some big time hits. So you need to, need to have multiple guys. You can't have it fracture. You can't have the quarterback room be fractured and that fracture the rest of the locker room. But with Darnold, Lance, and Purdy, I think you got three pretty high character guys. And yeah, they're all urgent to win the job, but I think they're going to be, you know, good soldiers if they don't. Um, but let's make no mistake about it, man. This is going to be a huge day-to-day -day story in the NFL. And if you're a Niner fan, you win. And if you're a Niner coach, if you're Shanahan, if you're Lynch, you win. Why? Because you got three quarterbacks in their physical prime who you all you think you can win with all three, and they're all competing as if they're the number one guy. And as long as the locker room doesn't fracture and doesn't get divi divided, hey, so certain percentage want this guy and certain percentage want that guy. So there will be some skill to bringing the whole thing along. You can't just juggle quarterbacks all day, every game, week in, week out. There has to be some rhyme or reason to the way you go about doling out who's the one, who's the two, who's the three, and making those crucial decisions. But Shanahan, for the most part, I think has done a nice job at figuring out exactly how to play it. It's going to be interesting this summer. Purdy will step in at some point, according to Shanahan, and he'll be the number one guy. But who knows? If he can't step in until September, what if Lance is hot? What if Darnold outplays Lance and is, takes the job and runs with it? You know, the fact of the matter is, if you really look in the grand scheme of things, Purdy's accomplished the most, but none of the three are really firmly established in the NFL and none of them have even had their 26th birthday. So you've got a young room of talented young quarterbacks who are trying desperately to establish themselves as the number one guy. And it is going to be absolutely riveting to watch, to see it all shake out. And it's the biggest subplot in the NFL 
because if the 49ers find a, a, a Super Bowl caliber quarterback, the 49ers may be a Super Bowl favorite. That's how good the rest of their roster really is. All right. Hope you enjoyed our 49er video on the quarterback situation coming up this summer. It is going to be juicy. Keep it locked on the Krug Show all summer for all your training camp information and uh, reports and interviews. And thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title, title sponsor. Check them out in Corte Madera and Emeryville. And thanks to all of you for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.